176, can you throw, do you read? Super 176, read you 5. Super 176, thank you, maintain flight level 70 on reaching. Wilco, okay, maintain flight level 70, Super 176. Go back 1246, can you throw, do you read? Well, if, uh, if you try to achieve contact with the aircraft and it doesn't speak to us anymore, um, we got a we got a problem, of course. So that's always always stress in these few minutes. And uh, if if even the aircraft is just on the wrong frequency, it's coming back in five minutes. This is could could be stressed and straight away. If if I got a lot of aircraft around him, because I've put left and right all aircraft. Get him, get him freeway, just in case he's already descending. You don't know what he's really doing. I will uh, consider after, let's say, five minutes. I have to decide what to do now. And uh, if, I, if there are possibilities that this aircraft is hijacked or whatever, then I will move now to my supervisor and inform him because he has to coordinate now all different steps and inform different units about this flight. So let's say the aircraft is inside Germany, depending where it has departed and how much time the aircraft has before it's going to leave the country. Let's say if he's departing at Frankfurt and going to the west towards Belgium, then uh, there's a very short distance until they leave actually the German airspace. In that case, uh, we inform the adjacent sectors, the controller informs the adjacent sector, and I call the supervisor of the adjacent control center and inform them about all the details. And on the military side, the National Air Policing Center, they coordinate with the adjacent military unit and then decide who is going to take care of that aircraft in case they have to launch a quick reaction alert squadron. It should be as early as possible. Nevertheless, uh, depending on the situation, as I said, it depends on how much flying time does he have left in order to go to the west, let's say departing Frankfurt, going to the west. I'm sure that in that case, the Belgium side would already be waiting with air defense airplanes uh, on the other side of the border. We are now in the CRC Grand, which is the control and reporting center of Belgium. Our mission is air defense control. We are responsible for the air surveillance of all air traffic above Belgium and the control of the military aircraft. Our motto is Oculus non habent sed vident, which means although they don't have eyes, they still can see. Eflex Master Controller. Yes. Copy all, sir. Thank you. Okay, crew, attention. We have a situation. We have a Comlos aircraft, 3 Alpha Squawk 3210, flight level 320, Comlos since 7 minutes. Everybody is in position. The controllers are on position and my fighter allocator and my track production officer are aware that there is a situation going on. They will now continue the tactical action. Yes sir, this is uh, Eflux uh, Master Controller. I would like uh, to suggest to scramble two F-16s from Klein and Brogel to intercept the Comlos aircraft. Do you agree? Thank you. Okay crew, we have the go. We can scramble two F-16 aircraft. Yuri, please scramble two F-16 aircraft from Klein and Brogel, heading east, flight level 320. The air defense process is now going on immediately. What we will do now, we will scramble two F-16s in order to visual identify the aircraft. That means that we will take off with two F-16s and they will go and fly near the aircraft to see what is going on on board. So as you saw, the incident is now closed for us because the two pilots in the cockpit of the Komlos aircraft uh, now gained again contact with the civilian air traffic control center. Now a very important issue still comes up and that is the reporting. 
Once the civil controllers and the military have finished handling a common loss occurrence, actually the work stands for us. We take every incident very seriously and will go up to identifying the causes. Eurocontrol is a neutral, non-commercial organization and our mission is to promote collaboration for improving safety. We look for commonalities and perhaps common causes that leads to uh, common loss occurrences. We have already found several profiles which are from technical uh, aspects and sometimes also we uh, see some humans related aspects which may lead to occurrence, to common loss occurrences. Of course in that case we relate to our safety and security experts. Our job is to monitor each incident, to analyze the causes and then provide feedback to the players. I think Eurocontrol has a good connection to, to, to put in a, a common tool which uh, helps us to get some information about the uh, Comlos aircraft uh, when they are on a Comlos or a Com failure and afterwards to investigate what are the reasons for that and uh, then uh, yeah, to stop that. If the civil and the military controllers want to get rid of those Comlos incidents which really affects the safety and the security of their work, they really need to, to report to us with every possible detail. One, two, four, six, eight, row. If you read me, score guided. I say again, one, two, four, six, if you read, score guided. Speed at one, two, four, six, reduce speed to one, eight, seven knots. One, eight, knots, two, one, two, four, six. Okay, so I think you might have had a sleeping receiver there. We've uh, been calling you uh, both from the ground and from your colleague for the last uh, three minutes or so. Yeah, well, we, we couldn't hear anything, so we just called you because it all went awfully quiet. Yeah.